We are live. A very happy Teal Tuesday. I feel like I'm late. I've uh, been up since five or so. Uh, did a bunch on YouTube this morning. Some a couple phone calls, a couple text messages, and I'm finally getting to paint. And what is it? It's almost eight o'clock, but it is the very unsexy part. Talked to Fred West yesterday riding in the combine. It is the very unsexy part of decoy painting. I've got I've got half the green wings. Bottoms are painted. First off, they're sealed. Bottoms are painted. One coat. And I've got two coats of my finished black paint as we're going to start painting on top of this. And, and with, with my decoys, old George Williams always taught me, start from the tail, work towards the head. So I've got, what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 of these that are in this state. And then it's to my left, to my right, I've got 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, like 14 of them. That... The bottoms aren't painted, they are sealed, and I have my first coat of paint down. My first coat I put on very um, thin, I guess would be a good word. I really wanna to try to fill all the nooks and crannies. I don't want there to be any holes. I wanna make sure that all, well, what did I say last time? The, the nooks and crannies reminds me of a uh, Thomas English Muffins commercial. Look, oh, Karen's texting me, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, this is the unsexy part of painting. Once again, we are using Golden's Heavy Body Mat. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Yes, there we go. I'm Kreskin. Or David Blaine or Chris Angel. Or Chris Blaine or David Angel. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So, we're using a fan brush. One more time. I need some Diet Mountain Dew. Give me a second. There we go. All right. So, I actually like, the, well, I already got paint on so you can't see it, but the, the kind of the most worn out brush is the best on these because the bristles are nice and stiff. And I'm just coming in here and this is, I'm getting kind of my, this is where I'm getting some of my texture. So uh, it's often been referred to painting, this style of painting is like you're, you're painting on a cinder block. And um, that's kind of pretty accurate. So. Get in here thick and liberal. Good morning to everyone. A very happy Tuesday, a teal Tuesday to everyone. Uh, had some thunderstorms come through last night. Super nice weather, man. Opened the house up today. Karen just left. <sighs> I can start to start to decompress a, a tad bit. Although it's go go go. <clears throat> so just kind of giving that texture to it, something like that. Uh, when it when it dries, get a little bit of shrinkage, I guess we could say. Um, the moist, when the moisture comes out of the paint, it definitely kind of um, draws up, shrinks. I don't know. I guess they both both those words fit well um, to describe the action and the reaction. <coughs> Excuse me, the action and the reaction to. The Golden's heavy body mat drying as well as curing. And I do think there's a difference between paint drying and paint curing. Somebody that's more intelligent than me, I'm sure, can explain it better. But to me, there's the paint will dry first, but it's not cured. And it takes, especially Golden's paint, like behind, I got, oopsie, did you hear that? Kind of pulled. But if I take and set, not on the wet, but if I take and set that on the dry, and if this bird is cured, Obviously, this paint I don't think is, and sometimes the paint will actually adhere to itself and you'll have a mess. So you got to be careful short term about setting decoys on top of each other. But So there is a difference between drying and curing, at least to me. So I've got, uh, I've got some Molly's radio commercials to do today. I'm waiting some, for some information on them. For uh, the 4th of July sales, the summer sales. Hey, hop, check this out. It's Molly's Summer of Yeti. Go to mymollys.com, M-Y-M-O-L-L-Y-S.com. It's free, no purchase necessary to enter. And every two weeks till August 15th, they're giving away Yeti coolers. So check it out, mymollys.com. It's Molly's Summer of Yeti. Um, but yeah, working on some... <clears throat> Some uh, fourth short-term Fourth of July sale sales, excuse me, and then some summer sales, and uh, 
try to do the best job I can for them. So that's pretty much the deal. Again, this is second coat of black. And just kind of, again, it, it it's a little, it looks a little rough, a little tall, but when it dries, hey Mike, what's going on? When it dries, it, ha uh, Mike, hey, awesome, man. Uh, the Pit Boss Burger kicks off today, official menu, the su official summertime menu. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's looking a little, maybe a little on the harsh side, but when this dries, again, we get a little shrinkage, kind of kind of tightens up and this will be this will turn into this believe it or not it does so so that's number one only 13 more to go so green wing teal teal Tuesday thanks for tuning in again the weather feels super Super, super nice. Rye and Mac Manor out front. Man, Mac Man is really, he's really, he's really trying my patience. I told him he, he better, he really needs to start cleaning up his act. He's stressing me out. Because I want him, want to be part of the family. And he's making it difficult on me to <laughs> achieve that. These things rocking and rolling and uh, once, once I am gonna it is super nice weather I am gonna move these out once they're all done move them out into the pleasantness that is low humidity as well as a nice sunny day and these things will dry up quick and then I started last week to, to the ones that are my left started to do some detail the rumps the primaries and I really want all these to go there's, there's two two groups that are going out as rigs, and I'm not sure. I wanted them to be uniform is what I'm trying to say. So I thought if I started to do the detail on those, and then when I do the detail on these, that maybe, maybe they would not look exactly the same, and or just a different day, whatever mood, mode, whatever I'm thinking as I'm doing them, I want them to all be as uniform as possible. Nick, what's up? Teal Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. When are you gonna make some surf scooter, man? Oh. Way. <clears throat> gonna speed along on these. Like I said, once I get them. These 13, 14, uh, 14 of them, I guess it was. Get these done. We get them out into some nicer air. Get them into some sun. It will help the drying process, not the curing process, but it will help the drying process so that I can move on. I would suggest this too. You always just whip out a hair dryer. That'll help speed speed that drying process up. They won't be cured, but they'll be dry. I always try to get through these halfway decently thank you thank you Fred West talked about coming down this morning I don't know if that's going to happen or not here we got six tenths of an inch of rain last night but I, I think to the north as I drove home from Miles yesterday coming down through Delaware I think that above us got more I bet you Peelers Road got a little bit more than what we did here I don't want to try to get over there today too <sighs> what that a little gnat or something looks like it when it touched down when the paint was wet before. Yes. Again, the very unsexy part of decoy making, painting. Put in the time here so we can rock and roll. Chris Williams, what's up, man? Good morning and good morning. 
I still sound bad, but I feel good. It's Teal Tuesday. <clears throat> Let's see if this works. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Maybe he's busy. I hit the button for him to come on. There he is. It does work. Good morning. Good morning, man. What's going on? No, nothing much. Sitting out here in the shop trying to get motivated to do something today. Motivation. Did you have some storms come through last night? Uh, we got some rain last night. Pretty good rain. So it was uh, it's all right. How about you guys? Well, it, it here makes a beautiful day here. Humidity's going. It feels good. It's going to be like seventy-five degrees. Open a actually open the house up. There you go. And, uh, it's nice. What's, out what's good out. in your world, man? Man, just uh, plugging into the year here. Delta waterfowl as far as the fiscal year, so trying to get everything wrapped up from here. Looking forward to the expo at the end of the month. So good time. There you go. Yeah, man, I keep getting the emails on it. Like it keeps getting bigger, bigger and better. Yeah, it's uh, there. We're adding something every day. It seems like <laughs> that's a good thing, man. It is. It is, man. It's exciting times in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, the end of July. So. End of July, right? Yep. Yeah, uh, twenty-eight, twenty or thirty. Ah, Lord have mercy, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. I believe. <clears throat> there you go. I don't even know what the day is. <laughs> I sometimes have issues with that. So, how's this? There goes, there goes Mac and Rod bargain. There you go. Miss Karen doing well? Yeah, man. She's off, off to work already. We, uh, she did her second round of, of COVID. I did my, I got my first from her. I guess that was, uh, over two weeks ago or so. So, I think I, I, I feel good. I think I sound funny still. But I uh, had a little bit of a fever. Just kind of a good cold, I guess you'd call it. But uh, for her, it was kind of a non-event, although she did test positive. Yeah. But, um, yeah, man, she's good to go. Thank you very much for asking. And just this, June has flown by. And uh, I think July and August are going to do the same. It certainly has, man. It's, it's weird how the whole COVID thing affects people differently. I I've had it twice. The first time, I like you said, it was sort of a non-event. The, the second time, man, I thought I was I thought I was out for the count. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. The second I, uh, time, first four. I, I never get sick. I mean, I truly say. I mean, it's Karen. You know, she's known me. For, I don't. You know, all, many, 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 many years, and she would agree. She's like, you never get sick. Um, that said, man, like probably one of the worst things is I. I don't like if I do get. If I'm not feeling good and I get a fever, I mean, fevers do affect me. And I, I did each, like, for three nights in a row. Just had them in the evening. But, man, like, that's that was that was the worst part for me, I think. Um, yeah. yeah and, just, and just feeling, kind of feeling like head cold, nasally kind of thing. Again, like, I, I, think, I think I still sound a little bit funny right now. Yeah. The, wor the worst but, part for me, man, that, that was, I'm with you on that. The worst part for me was, damn, just hurting all over. My joints and, and everything hurt. <laughs> I just, you know, felt weak as crap. Mm -hmm. so, so what else? What else are working on today? You got teal running this morning. Just working on teal. Yeah, I'm gonna do do this. Uh, I got to my left is a twelve of them that I twelve on that side, fourteen on this side. The fourteen over here. I'm trying to catch up to speed for those so that I can do the detail and and kind of make it un nice and uniform. I'm not 100% sure where they're all going. So I think some of them might get mixed and matched. So I wanted them to, you know, look as as uniform as possible. Um, so I'm gonna try to get 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 through them. Got some uh, Molly's Molly's radio commercial to do Fourth of July sale, a summer sale, um, and just uh, enjoy the weather. There you go. The break. Yeah. You broke up. I'm sorry. 
I said, is the brown ale, Pit Boss brown ale, back yet? Uh, no. Molly's purchased, I think there was all the, the, the kegs on tap, they sold out. So that, it yeah. did real well there. Uh, today at the restaurant, they're kicking off the Pit Boss burger, so the, the uh, beer gets used in the cheese sauce. I got you. And uh, Molly's, Molly's, I think there's like 120 cases left, so they, they got all of those. So that the, there, there, there really is no more. Molly's has the last of it. So hopefully we'll get back to, you know, late summer, early fall, that, that it'll it'll be a run again for kind of like that, that fall beer. It is, you know, the alcohol content is a little on the high side. So it's it's definitely not it's a it's a you know it's a little heavier beer, uh, maybe not you know it's not a, a warm weather beer, I guess I should say. There you go. So uh, hopefully hopefully Finn City will uh, it did well last year that they'll kick it off again and and uh, get it brewed brewed here late late summer. So we'll have it again for the fall. So like I said, I do know locally, you know on tap, it it sold out. Right on. Um, right the cases did well. The cans did well. Just they're, they're a little slower on the on the cans than on the uh, on kegs. And I guess too, it's like the ratio of doing kegs to cans. They weren't hundred percent sure which was going to do do the best. But um, no, hopefully, hopefully it will it will happen again. So I, I know all the ones that made it to North Carolina people thoroughly enjoyed. We appreciate that. Uh, August. I don't have a date yet, but there there will be poles in the ground at Peerless Road, so we're excited about that. Heck yeah! Uh, just trying to trying to make it happen. Go go go! So it's always so. I will say I do do have a little bit of stress and tension over it. <laughs> right, stress and anxiety. Not I don't know about tension, but stress and anxiety. So, uh, but it's 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 all it's all good. Just something we just it needs to happen and needs to get done. So there you go. that's I'm trying to stay is. As our, our man Michael Murphy would say, it's his line. Want to want to stay ahead of it instead of behind it. That's right. That's right. So, That's right. Chris, man, I appreciate you coming on this morning. Thank you very much. Heck yeah, man. Good seeing you. And uh, give our best to Gam and uh, Miss Karen. And man, we'll see you soon. Thank you very much, man. Be safe. See you, buddy. See you, man. Thanks. Chris Williams, Delta Waterfowl. Uh, I should know the town. I'll say Central North Carolina, Chris. I'm sorry. I can I can picture 95, and I just can't picture the town, so I apologize. Teal Tuesday. I thank you for tuning in. We'll get maybe a I'll jump on this afternoon when these guys got some a uh, little more detail in them. <clears throat> we can you can see the progress. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully they progress well so much more to do mac man's calmed down he's finally laying down looks like he's on his head's getting heavy like he's he's fighting off sleeping <laughs> i do appreciate you taking the time to tune in thank you very much chris williams delta waterfowl he, chris i appreciate your time good to catch up see you again need to see you in person here shortly very soon so princeton there we go Sorry, man. I will remember it next time. But it was good to catch up with you, man. Thanks for jumping on. Impromptuly, is that a word? All right. Onward, upward. About halfway done. Get these guys moved out into the air and the sun. And uh, I will jump back on this afternoon. And I'll show you the progress. So thank you for tuning in. As always, thinking of you. We are bugging.